I'm a big fan of our guest today. She's an award-winning singer-songwriter whose album Pieces of You is one of the best-selling debut albums of all time. She can also be seen as a judge on the hit TV series Nashville Star. I'd like to welcome Jewel to Sidewalks. It's great to have you with us today. Hi, thank you. So tell me a little bit about where you first kind of got started in music and, and how you became a songwriter. I grew up in a small town called Homer, Alaska. My family were pioneers and I was raised on my family's ranch uh, that actually was a homestead. And uh, it was very remote. We had no running water. We had a coal stove for heat. We picked our own coal out of the veins to heat our house and pretty much lived off the land because there were no grocery stores anywhere near. Grew up with my dad being a musician and a songwriter, and it's something that I picked up when I was about 16. Now, I know you spent a lot of time in Nashville, mm -hmm. and of course, you're a songwriter yourself. What do you think it takes to be a good songwriter? Gosh, there's all types of songwriters and all types of reasons to do it. Uh, for me, writing really made me feel less alone as a child. I've always written um, very honest lyrics that are... Uh, about my life and what I'm going through. I've tried never to use writing to make myself seem any better or more perfect than I am because when I was a child, uh, I always just felt so different from all the beautiful people you saw on television all the time. So I've tried to be very honest with my own lyrics. I never thought it would turn into a career. It just really made me feel better. Um, never thought it would turn into this. You know, I never thought I'd sell 30 million <laughs> records and, you know, be here this many exactly. years later. Exactly. Well, you know, you've teamed up with Mary Kay Cosmetics in a special campaign called A Kiss for Country. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, A Kiss for Country is a great campaign that tries to help stop the cycle of domestic violence. It really is a generational thing, and unless you remove yourself from the situation and stop the habits, it's impossible to stop, and statistically usually doesn't work out good. So luckily, with places like the place I'm at right now is called the Morning Star Sanctuary. It's a place women can go to get away into a safe environment. And Mary Kay is very dedicated to helping stop that domestic violence. Kiss uh, for Country is a great campaign because it takes a lot of country music celebrities, and you kiss a piece of paper, and then you sign it, and then they auction those off. And uh, you can also buy a lipstick, a Mary Kay color called Appleberry, and all the proceeds go to the home, the shelter as well. Oh, that's so great. Uh, so how can others get involved if, if people want to donate to this, this program? Well, as I said, they auction off all of the little lipstick kisses, and you can go to MaryKay.com to see when that auction is going to happen and whose uh, little kiss marks are available for auction, as well as buying the lipstick. You must be really excited about your country album, Perfectly Clear. What are people going to love about this album? I wrote everything on this album. This has been a very passionate project for me. Um, as I was raised on the ranch, ranch and I was you know, taught to yodel by my dad as a child. I have been yodeling live for a really long time and fans have been asking me to put it on a record. I know that sounds strange, but there is some cowboy style yodeling on here. Um, it's a nice. very diverse record. Uh, but one lyrically I'm really proud of. I'm really happy with this project. Well, and John Rich, of course, helped to produce this mm -hmm. album. How did he sort of influence and shape, shape this project? John and I are good partners because we're so opposite. Uh, he's very outgoing and very gregarious, and I'm sort of very sincere and very emotional and uh, subtle, and so we actually were able to really complement each other in the studio. We had a great time. Well, you, of course, got to work with him as well on Nashville Star. As an artist yourself, you know, you were judging this competition. And as an artist yourself, did you find it tough to sort of be critical of other artists? Yeah, it's definitely hard to be a judge, but I'm trying to be the type of judge that I'd want if I was an artist, which is somebody to be honest. I don't want someone to tell me I'm good when I'm not. I want to get better. So I've just tried to be very specific. Right, right. Well, as we close, do you have any career advice for those rising young artists out there who are trying to break into the business? I think there's two reasons to do this job. One is because you want to be famous, and the other is because you love art and the craft. Um, know which one you're doing. If you want to be great at the craft, just practice all the time, and fame will take care of itself. I don't think you have to chase it. Jewel, thank you so much for being with us on Sidewalks. It was a pleasure having you. Best of luck. Thank you.